hit C to go back to camera and render it again. So it will take even longer so you can have more cake and solve more Rubik's Cubes. And every time you increase that, the quality of the shadows looks better. Okay. Let's close that. Now why don't we add a biped? Yeah, look at him. I'll call him Bill. You should also watch the tutorial for making a biped walk without animating it. For all you lazy people out there. So, yes, here's some shadows going on. Yeah. Look at that. Let's close it because we don't want to render it again. Look at that. You've got some grainy shadows going on. So, we try and select the skylight. If not, just don't press that button. You select the lights, find it. Where is it? Where is it? it? Should be there. Where? There it is. You select it, unselect that, select that. Then you go to modify and let's increase it to 10. Suicide, do I know? That might take quite a while, while to render. So. I think we should change the resolution of it. But you can still see that looks awesome. But how long will that take to render? A million years. Look at that. No dots. Smooth. Okay. So. Yeah. This is taking ages. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to be waiting for this to render. For. Oh, how many frames? Like 200? Still. This is what it's looked like. Yeah. Let's close it. I said close it. Almost. Yeah. So let's change the resolution to HD and 490 by 270. Now look how fast that is, yeah. That's awesome. <clears throat> there we go. Now it's got motion blur on it as well. So. We can add a target direct light for our sun. So hit, uh, I think it's E to scale it up. No, it's R to scale. That's it. And turn on shadows as a render you'll now see some sort of shadows there you go shadow yeah shadow shadow yeah shadow and let's angle it down a bit quite a lot I mean now we're gonna have some longer shadows yeah look at that yeah so now I think we're ready to render it like that. Now won't that look good on a background? Oh no Apple iTunes software update thingy. So that's what it looks like. But now we've got to render it and put a background on it. So we look at it like this. You can see my old Christmas tree just some nice shadows okay so we're gonna go to render setup active time sequence files let's find somewhere to save it um, let's call it tut tut mov has to be mov or can be and then make sure it's a png thing so it will be transparent yes so try and save it save yes already done this close that and press the render button and then through the powers of editing I can make this fully rendered so watch your jump look at that half an hour is turned to 16 seconds that was amazing wasn't it I know I know so the last frame the last frame 
It's done! Okay, so now we're going to go to After Effects. I said we're going to go to After Effects. There it is. Quick as that. So we're going to import the footage, drag it down there. And then we're going to import the footage, which is down there. Tut. Drag that on. Um, adjust the comp size to fit the resolution because I scaled it down a lot. Save and render time, composition settings. 490 by 270. Okay. Let's scale this down. Quite a bit. Say 25. That should just about do it. So let's have a play of this. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's all rendered. That was quick. There we go. Look at that. It's moving! It's magic! Magic, I tells you! So, yeah. And I've also just realised something. That when you, in 3ds Max, you meant to turn off the environmental map. Otherwise, that will happen. Because it's rendered the background as well as the box as, and the biped. So, big no-no. Because now you can't colour grade it. So, that is it. That's how you motion track. A box and a little man. Ta-da! Yay, thank you for that tutorial, Matt. Very interesting. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you later. He stole my Rubik's Cube! Uh, he actually did. He crawled. Bye. He's a cruel person.